I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Yo! What's up, Aaron? Welcome back to Katamari motherfucking Damashi. How you doing, baby girl? Well, it's motherfucking Katamari forever, so... Good. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna roll up a goddamn star, make a star number seven, gotta roll it up as fast as possible. This motherfucker is saying all kinds of gibberish. <laughs> all this work is making me depressed, then go seek therapy. And when therapy. that happens, I think about crickets. Of course you do. I used to listen to the sig when I was young. Oh, did you? When Yo you were a young robot? A young of robot the same growing age? up. <laughs> I was gonna say. When I was just a little robot growing in my mother's robot womb. <laughs> womb 2029. <laughs> uh, maybe that never actually happened. Perhaps all my memories are just implants. Oh, boy. Uh, yep. You see, if we ever made robots, why would we give them depression? It sucks. I think there's. I think the idea is that they figured it out on their own because we're. Like, they're made in our image, so they- we unintentionally, you know, gave them our attributes. Is that so? I don't know. I, that's what I always guessed. You know, I wanna see- is there a film where, like, it's just like, everything's great. The future's great. We have total control over robots. Uh, they do our bidding and fuck. They didn't screw us up. We live awesome lives because of it. The end. I don't know. I mean... Kurzweil's book, Age of Spiritual Machines, kinda has a really positive outlook like that. Like, he's like, yeah, shit's awesome. Shit's gonna be awesome. Well, so, okay, so here's my thing with robots, right? Mm -hmm. If we create robots, and robots literally just replace, like, life, then our economy would change, I think. Uh, in what sense? Well, so we wouldn't need people to do things anymore, we'd get robots to do them. Right. And when robots do them, then we wouldn't need to do anything. Right. So we would just, like... Distri- because we live in like a work-based, at least in America, right? Sure. So you work, and you get rewards for that work. Or you, whatever, invest or whatever. Right. Um, but the point is you do something and then you get something else. But I feel like when we have robots, it'll just be like, well, they were created for us and now they do everything for us, so... I mean, that's Everybody kind of, gets free shit forever. That's what's already been happening. Except... I think the lesson is, like, you probably want to own the robots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, invest in the robots. Because, at some point, everybody will be, like... You know, it'll just be the people who own the robots, and then, like, everyone else will just be kind of hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think by the time... I'm, I'm saying, like, way, way in the future, when just, like, robots are omnipresent. Right. Like, in order to sustain any fucking... In, uh, infrastructure of anything, be it electricity or water or whatever, it's just robots. Right. And they got that shit. They're done. And, like, we didn't fuck up, we didn't accidentally, oops, oh, they turned against us because <laughs> we're lazy fucks and they're super intelligent. Right. They're just like, nope, we do our jobs and that's where we are, we're robots. And, like, then we would just- we- we would just sit around and do nothing. I don't know. Maybe I don't just, know what the answer is. Maybe just create art all day? That'd be nice. Yeah. I'd love to create art all day. So... In fact, what do you call this show? <laughs> <laughs> you really think Game Grumps is creating art? I do. Yeah? I do. I think it- well... <laughs> I think we're having fun. Let's, uh... I think that's what's important. Let's go ahead and put that on the record. Game Grumps is art. Yeah. Dan Avidan, 2016. Yeah! Fuck, I'll stand by it, too. Oh, shit. We work hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. <laughs> We work hard for the money, so you better treat us right. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. I love that song. Me too. Just, just any song that like works honey into it, like, mmm, honey. Like, that's pretty fucking pretty rad. I really like, uh, there's a lot of great 80s songs that have like good riffs. Like, what was I listening to the other day? It was, it was a was it Wild Games? Wicked Games. Oh, Chris Isaac. Chris Isaac, That's yeah. a 90s song. Oh, it's a 90s song? Yeah. Uh, that era, you know, that fucking, where people were wearing denim jackets and... Right. Like that, the, the, But I... Yeah, like, it, it's <laughs> fucking good! That, that riff is good! Holy love! Like, you can't get it out of your head, man. Yeah. When you hear it for the first new Noah! <laughs> <laughs> Wanna fall in love. That is a sensual music video. Um, when I was a kid, I was like, God, I hate this shit. It's so boring, stupid love songs. I just wanted to listen to Nirvana all the time. 
And and now when I watch that video, I'm like, I could jerk off to this. Dude, when I was a kid, yep. that was like the moment I hit puberty. When you saw that video. music video? Yeah. yeah. It's incredibly sensual. I just got, I got like so like, whoa. Yeah. Am I supposed to be watching this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. That man is a lover. And like, she, she's all like in her- isn't she like naked at one point, but it's just kind of like a silhouette or something? I can't remember. It's she, a, she's definitely in like only a fucking bikini or something. Yeah, yeah. And they're in the waves and it's all black and white and he's crooning. Cr what? Crooning. Singing in a crooning manner. I don't know the exact definition of crooning, but it's like singing. <laughs> you look it up and it's like, when you like, spoon out shit with two <laughs> fingers. <laughs> yeah, it's just crooning. He was just crooning. Uh, it cr <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weird that that was the place your mind went. <laughs> I was just trying to think of something like, horribly disgusting. Okay, let's see. Crooning. Crooning. Definition. Hum or sing in a soft, low voice, especially in a sentimental manner. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah. How about that? There you go. Crooning. Learned a thing. I croon when I pee and it feels awesome. <laughs> Which is often. Where? Dang it, I really fucked this one up. Crooning. That was so bad. When you <laughs> run into Japanese George Clooney. Crooning. <laughs> Can I use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I ran into George Crooney. <laughs> <laughs> Crooney. Cool. Wow, he gave you the fucking lava. Oh, I gotta avoid him. Oh, oh this is like yeah. a mini game. Shit. That's right. Woo. Oh, God. Uh, fuck. Whoa, oh, Jesus. Whoa, oh, there you go. boy. Oh, oh boy. Uh, whoa, oh. oh. Well, I'll play it again. Okay. I feel like I did really shitty on that level. You definitely did. I sure did. That's why he gave you the fucking angry, angry mountain. Ba ra 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 <laughs> ra, 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 ra. Happy that's the, holiday. <laughs> that's George Crooney celebrating. Ba ra 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 ra. <laughs> Terrorist the <laughs> Susan. Terby Harry. <laughs> there were. <laughs> There will never be a time, uh, when the- the Japanese, uh, L and R miscommunication will not be funny to me. Just having grown up with a foreign dad, and like, just language becomes very funny. Oh yeah, I agree. I, uh, I wonder what, like, our version- or their version of that for us is. Oh, true that. Yeah, we pro- they, oh god, they probably have one for sure. Are you kidding? They probably have a million. Japanese is impossible. Huh. I think it's probably like A's. So, uh, I'm trying to think of something. Damn it! It's probably like it's probably like E's, like E's? because E in the like the E is in Japanese is is always uh, eh. Uh huh. Right. So like when we see when a lot of Americans see E written right. out, they're like, oh, it's it's E. Right. So they'd be like like. Um, I don't know. This is coming out so boring. No, no, it's fine. All I know is that when I was in Tokyo, and I was at a 7-Eleven, yeah. trying to use, like, the 10 Japanese words I know, that woman, like, she, like, had the kind of smile on her face where it looked like she was trying to, like, stifle, like, the crying laugh. <laughs> <laughs> she was so tickled by my horrible Japanese accent. <laughs> but that's like, you know, you you gotta be like really insecure to not also think that's funny. Oh no, I was like, as, it's okay. As, yeah. I was like, I want. I, I was like, I wish I knew how to say. I'm trying my best in Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Um, because like I would fuck. It's, that's hilarious. Yeah. Like if I'm going up to somebody and I'm like, oh, uh. Su Sumimasen, and they're like, ha 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 I'll be like, yeah, it is funny. Yeah. I can't fucking say that shit. Yeah, it's probably- It was probably like, uh, that Scottish guy I met in Glasgow, like, who, like, the shit he was saying was so fucking undecipherable, it, like, didn't even sound like the language. I'm doing way worse than last time. Yeah, this is terrible. But I've told you that story, I was, like, looking for the train, and so I asked him where the train went, and he was like, I need to click it! I don't know, hope should I can. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's weird that you know exactly what he said, Thank dude. you, sir. What was burned into my mind, I was, like, walking away, like, I need to click it. I need to hope should I can. 
Wow. I b has anyone ever- because you told that story before. Yeah. Has anyone ever come out and been like, oh, that's, yeah, obviously he's saying this. I mean, probably I'm not doing it close enough justice. <laughs> I, mean, it, I, don't know it it I remember the musicality of the way yeah, you said right, it right, more, right. more than the actual syllables. There's something musical about other languages, because that's all you know. Yeah, it's all- it's- you just approach it as sound. Um... I- I- I just think the idea of, like, somebody laughing at you for not being able to speak the language is, is like, it, it's- it, like, connects you, you know? It's like, haha, it is right. funny, like, I get it and you get it, like, we can laugh at this together you, as people. You just need to laugh in general, like, laughing- being able to laugh at yourself is so, so important to enjoying life, and like, and I think that's, you know, not to get fucking heavy or whatever, but I think that's part of what the problem is. Um, and why people are so tense and uptight these days and angry on the internet. It's because, like, people just take themselves so seriously and have trouble, like, just being like, you know what? This doesn't have to be, like, this doesn't have to mean anything towards a cause. Like, yeah. we can all just joke around. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there who thinks, like, us saying, like, L's and R's, like, are racist, or when South Park does it, that's racist. But, like, you know what? We're not racist. I know plenty it, of Japanese people that think it's funny. Yeah, and like, you just- you just gotta laugh at yourself. Cause, I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it a million times. Fucking real racism? Horrible. Yeah. Fucking the scourge of the earth. But fake racism? Super hilarious and cool. <laughs> and like, if we could all just agree on that, and just agree to laugh at ourselves and each other, then there'd be no reason to fucking be so angry all the time. I remember when I was in Ireland, it, it was so unanimous when like, I would meet new people, and I'd just be like, and they and they would they would talk about their accents and they'd be like yeah yeah at least we're not like hi today 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 yeah. like literally everybody said that and I was like ha 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 that's funny because that's what I say yeah and it, it fucking endeared us to each other of course I was like yeah ha ha I've met a couple people that are like hi today today and they're like ha ha yeah they sound funny and it's like they do Yay. yeah God. <laughs> and, you, and you're that people <laughs> yeah. And we sound funny to different people in this I country. I know, and I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> like, that's... Hello, yes, serious. But everything that's what I sound like, so it's funny. Everything is serious all the time. And I'm saying it right now, and me going like, oh, uh, hello, is like, it's like, but it's funny! Yeah, of course it is. That I say that, and other people are like, hello, and like, I'm like, I hello. Hi. And they're like, oh, ha 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 ha, that sounds funny that you say it like that. Yay! Because it's different! Let's see, let's see how much he hates this Well, I, I, I made par. Oh, really? So, oh, to get, well, fuck you. You know what? I made par. Good enough. I fucking cleared the stage. I see you rolled up lots of games. <laughs> love, I, love games. I see you rolled up lots of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Time for star making. Yes. Great, thanks, my piddly star. I'm not redoing that one. Fuck it. Bad ending star. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about. Welp. Sounds good. <sighs> it feels good. Next time on Game Grumps. Yeah, it's the Tony Tony Tone song. <laughs> you and me, together, in the world. Forever. Forever. It feels good! Friends for life. <laughs>